News 6 is getting answers this afternoon after a family claimed their son was bitten by a snake at Disney's Animal Kingdom. Their attorney says the boy's great-grandmother saw him get bitten and died of a heart attack. News 6 reporter Eric Sandoval spoke with the family's attorney and Disney today. Eric, what did you find out? Well, Julie, attorney Matt Morgan called a news conference this morning to talk about all these claims. He admitted to us he doesn't know if this snake escaped from one of its exhibits or if it was wild. Regardless, he says Disney should have prevented this from happening, but Disney is standing their ground. Disney has an obligation to ensure the safety of the people that visit their parks. And that is the reason attorney Matt Morgan says he agreed to take on the case of an Alabama family. They claimed they were going into the Maharaja jungle trek to see a kimono dragon at Animal Kingdom. And right on the other side of the entrance here, they claim a green and brown snake fell from a tree onto their eight-year-old son. You can see how many trees there are here. They say the snake then wrapped itself around the boy and bit him on the leg. To make matters worse, the family says the boy's great-grandmother, who was in her late 80s or early 90s, saw what happened and immediately had problems breathing. Those problems continued, they said, and she died of what turned out to be a massive heart attack two days later. If we can prove that there is negligence on the part of Disney for allowing this snake to be on its premises, and that negligence was the proximate cause and legal cause of the grandmother's death, then that would be a more significant claim. Disney admits the boy was bit on the finger by a non-venomous snake, and they say they treated him for it with a Band-Aid. As for the threat of a lawsuit, they say these allegations are an utter mischaracterization of the facts. I understand the skepticism behind your viewers and people that might have opinions about these types of cases. Now, we did find out today the boy's great-grandmother was around 90 years old, and she was also in a wheelchair. Morgan says that wheelchair was because she had problems walking. Other than that, though, she, he says that she was in great health. So uh, why did he hold this news conference? No lawsuit's been filed. We actually asked him that question, see what he had to say to us coming up at 5. All right, looking forward to it. Thank you, Eric. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Remember, as this case continues to develop, follow the latest at clickorlando.com, powered by News 6.